What tools can you suggest that small businesses should have in their arsenal based on your experiences of teaching the buyers? Are there any other tools? We talked about, obviously, there's a a shortage or weakness Mm -hmm. and being able to train them. But are there things that you've seen that may be able to assist them? I think it would be just very valuable to have just like a meeting of the minds for a small business to sit down with with like a contracting officer and just kind of go through some things and have recently I was talking to someone from a small business and in the DC area, things are very, very competitive, very cutthroat among small businesses and everyone's trying to win government contracts and this small business, they didn't have any preference. So what I mean by that is like many contractors are, have women owned preference or service disabled veteran owned preference or something like that. And this small business, they were a very great small business. And I know they're very competent and provide a, a very high level of, of services to the government. But they were wondering, you know, what do you think we could do to, to get more government contracts? And I kind of asked them some questions before realizing they didn't have any preference. And I looked on the SBA hub zone map and realized, well, there's actually a designated hub zone that's that's within a mile of your current office. Have you thought about maybe considered moving your office headquarters to within that hub zone? So you can get like a 10% price evaluation preference and and you can be more competitive price-wise to maybe win some additional contracts. So things like that. A lot of small businesses really don't have any clue about you know hub zone or what it is until they talk to a contracting officer. So things like that, I I think would be very, very good for small businesses to maybe hire a consultant or someone with federal contracting experience to just kind of go through their stuff. Okay. Okay. No, that's, uh, it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. No, I just wonder, because sometimes obviously you're teaching the courses and the classes and people might want to, might share in their opinion or experiences of working with small businesses. I didn't know if you had, could offer some some insight to what the contracting folks are saying about us out there, because we never get to hear that stuff, right? We don't know what they're saying about us or how they feel. Um, we just I know that sometimes you call some and they're very excited to work with small businesses, and then you call others and they tell you to go to their website and look online at their projects. Yeah, within the DoD, the vast majority of our students in the DC area come from the Navy. And they're typically working the larger programs. So they're not having as much interaction with, with small business as probably in some of the other areas or in the other federal agencies. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That makes sense. Okay. All right. Well, going back to ask, talking to the contracting officer, what kind of questions do you think they could ask the contracting officer if, when they did finally get one in front of them? I think it would be good to just have a contracting officer or someone with contracting officer experience take a look at their proposals that they submit and say, hey, how do you think that we could maybe submit a better proposal? And by looking at this proposal, at the cost proposal, what are some things that we're doing that, you know, maybe might be not be done right? I do remember, and this this takes me back probably eight, nine years, but... <laughs> I was doing a work with a small business uh, back in Dayton, Ohio. Okay. And and they they had submitted cost proposals and they were managing a subcontractor and paying the subcontractor over a million dollars per year. But they weren't charging the government any profit or fee for performing that work of managing that subcontractor. Mm. They were just charging the government the exact cost of the invoices right. that right. were given to the government. And they weren't adding any profit or fee on that. And me, the the acquisition you know specialist at that point, I'm not going to give it to you unless you unless you ask for it, right. unless you burden that portion of your cost proposal. So I think that'd be a really good way to really help small businesses get the dollars that they're entitled to. 